Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have a Sailor King of Pen and this is the Lucky Charm in the Pro Gear. We have a Sailor King of Pen and this is in the Stormy Seas. We have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. We have a Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar. We have a Classic Pens LB5 and this is in the KN. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kauseki. We have a Tatcha Miyabi Winter's Breath. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. We have a Santini Libra in the Ambra. And we have a Santini Libra in the Laurel. So I think let's take a look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the Sailor King of Pen. Uh, it's a Pro Gear model that you can see here. So this is a flat topped. And, and I know a lot of people... There's a little bit of controversy here because a lot of people like the Pro Gear models, the flat tops, and a lot of people like the cigar rounded shape versions. Uh, I personally have always been a cigar person or a cigar. <laughs> I've never smoked in a cigar before. I've been a cigar shape person for pens. And I've not really been that into the Pro Gear, but when I saw this translucent green, I really wanted it. Now, this has uh this is made by sailor so it's got a 21 carat gold nib there and this is a medium nib which really writes more like a western fine uh this it's a really nice pen it's got a cartridge converter if i unscrew this you'll see the cartridge converter there and uh, the only thing that i dislike about this pen and yes i do dislike is that you can get water between the inner cap there and the outer cap. And it's extremely difficult to be able to get this out because this is actually spring-loaded. So you cannot take this out with an eraser easily without actually completely disassembling the cap, which is, on these Sailor King of Pens, extremely difficult to do. So I do need to find a way of actually cleaning that water up between the two the inner and the outer caps and if you have any idea then do let me know because it's too thin really to get anything in i might be able to get uh, maybe maybe a, a thin sheet of blotting paper but i do risk then tearing it and actually leaving it in here so this is one of the the dangers about these translucent caps certainly on the the sailor king of pen models um i think it's also similar maybe on some of the regular sailor models but you can see there it that nib doesn't look that attractive now when it's uh covered up like that with with some water there so i have that one inked up this week and a lot of time you will get that from water evaporation from the ink so it's not just from cleaning the cap so this is something just to bear in mind if you're going to go with a translucent cap or a clear cap uh, if you have an inner cap then make sure it is something you can remove first the next pen i have inked up this week is this one and this is a sailor king of pen again and you can see here uh, I really do like this. It says Sailor on that back cap band, the king of pen. Uh, and it's pen, not pens. Uh, so this is a really beautiful sort of metallic blue. And when I saw this, I decided I wanted to get it and I could get it for what was a good price from Chris at Truffet. Now, this does actually have, I'm going to wipe that nib off a bit. There you go. You can see that maybe a little bit better there. Um, that is a Sailor 21 cat gold King of Pen nib. Uh, this is, a, again, a cartridge converter. So you have the converter here. So it holds around about 0 0.7 milliliters of ink. Uh, you can post these caps. You can post it on the Pro Gear as well. 
if you really want to. And, and I know a lot of people do like posting their caps. So if you are a cap poster, then certainly this, if you like a larger pen, uh, the cap isn't back weighted. So it doesn't back weight the pen when capped. Uh, there is more weight in the base of the pen there to make it quite comfortable. So I have this one inked up with me this week as well. Uh, I have another one, which, which if you look at this, this is, again, a Sailor King of Pen. Uh, oh, actually, it's not. Sorry. Uh, this is a Sailor King of Pen. This is the Classic Pens LM1. But this has been designed very in very similar shapes and dimensions to the Sailor King of Pen. But you will notice, so it is a little bit thicker. So this is the Classic Pens LM1 in the flame red. And this has diffusion bonded acrylic there and this is you can see here the if i rotate it there so it's classic and it's lm1 flame red uh this is a limited edition one of 500 pens that andy lambrew at classic pens did uh, in this material and i love it a lot um this does have a, a bock number six size nib uh, this is a medium nib. It's a uh, um, a classic pens stamped nib. Again, this is a cartridge converter, but this uh, just has a standard international converter because it's not a Sailor King of Pen. Uh, but I will get on to the Sailor King of Pen version in a little bit, which you can see here in my tray. The next pen here is the Sailor King of Pen, and this is... The Sakura Nagar, it's a beautiful maquillé. Uh, the, uh, the idea is that these are Sakura petals and uh, these are flowing down the river. And this really is a beautiful, beautiful maquillé Raden effect going on here. Uh, this, uh, again, because it's a king of pen, it's got the Sailor 21 cat gold uh, nib there. Uh, this one I got with a broad nib. Uh, because I was, at the time, not really liking the medium nibs uh, from Sailor because they translate more to a Western fine. And I decided I would get a broad on this, and I'm glad that I did. Uh, although, to be honest, as much as I like this broad, I have been going back to really more medium nibs uh, on the Sailor King of Pens. So, so then that, again, is a Western fine. So I have that one inked up this week as well. Uh, now, this is the uh, Sailor King of Pen uh, made by Sailor for classic pens. And this is the LB5. So you can see here Sailor LB5 and it's the KN. And KN basically is the flame red, which is what this one is. Uh, and you can see that here. This is a really beautiful diffusion bonded acrylic there. And this is really quite spectacular. And I love this a lot. This uh, I was able to add uh, this year to my collection. It's got a 21 cat gold Sailor King of Pen nib. This is a medium nib on here. Uh, and again, if I unscrew, you'll see here the standard Sailor converter. Uh, and I have this one inked up this week as well. Uh, I can also post the cap if I want to. This is a little bit more back weighted, I find. So it's not something I would want to do. And it also is quite long as well. But you can post those caps if you really want to. So that's the KN. And you can see here the difference. So this is the standard Sailor King of Pen. And the LB5 here is about half a centimeter maybe even a centimeter actually longer than the standard Sailor King of Pens. Uh, and the standard Sailor King of Pens are eh, sometimes a little bit longer than the LM1. The next pen here I have inked up is, again, another Classic Pens LB5, and this is in the Kawasaki. And I got this one before the KN uh, by at least a few years I was trying to to really get hold of the KN. I couldn't. I managed to get hold of the LM1 in the Flame Red and this one in the Kawasaki. But again, so this is, uh, if I rotate it, you'll see here it says Sailor 
LB5, Kalseki. It's 47 to 50. And you'll see here this beautiful... Uh, Kalseki stands for metal ore. And you can see that sort of brown metal ore there. Uh, and if I unscrew the cap there, you'll see that it has a 21 karat gold nib uh, and also a converter as well. So uh, I have this one inked up with me this week as well. And then the next pen is the Tatcha Miami Winter's Breath. And this is a stunning, really stunning pen. Uh, these are made by Tatcha, but the nibs are, although Tatcha branded, they are made by Sailor. So uh, this is a beautiful maquillé that I wanted for a long time. I managed to pick this up in the end from Bryant at Chatterley. Uh, Bryant was able to do me a really good deal. Uh, so uh, that was a really, really um, uh, good uh, good good purchase uh, and I bought a lot from Brian in the past so that's why he did me a really good deal uh, but this is a beautiful beautiful uh, Raden pen with quails uh, crushed quails eggs there now if I unscrew the cap you'll see it has a much smaller nib it's a, a number six nib actually by Tatcher and again it is a cartridge converter uh, so I have that inked up uh, this week as well. Um, I do typically fill syringe fill the the converter on this pen because although myself and a friend haven't seen this, I have seen some people where they have inked the uh, section in the normal way, and some of this quail's eggs have actually stained over time. So I typically try to avoid that because white does stain. Uh, if you have a white section, it will stain eventually. So I'm trying to avoid that as much as I can. Um, can I post this cap? I can. It doesn't post that deeply or securely, uh, and it does wobble a little bit, but I'm not going to normally post this because it is a Mackie pen. It has got a lacquer over those quail's egg and Radom strips, but I don't want to to risk marring that finish there so i want to try and keep this pen as close to immaculate as i can even though i'm writing with it the next pen is the visconti uh, medici or magnifico this is in the lapis lazuli and i love this pen a lot uh this has the if i show you here the newer 18 count gold nibs there from visconti it's a medium nib. It writes a little bit more like a broad, to be honest, in Western terms. But And the nib sings a little bit as well on certain paper. But I love how this writes. It writes really smooth, and, and I absolutely love it. Uh, again, I can post a cap, but this is very weighty, very back-weighty, because this, although these are gold finishings and caps, these are actually solid silver with a vermeil uh, gold plating over solid silver. So not only do you have the solid silver here in the cap, which is a, a really weighty cap, you have it in a section, you have it in the vac knob, power vac knob, and then you have solid marble in the body of the pen. So that in itself makes the pen quite weighty as well. The next pen I have inked up this week is the uh, Santini Italia. Uh, this is the Libra, and this is in the Ambra. And this is a beautiful cracked ice effect. This is the same material that Conway Stewart were using uh, in some of their pens. Uh, it has a number six size Santini nib. It's an 18 karat gold nib there. Uh, it's a piston filling pen. Uh, and I, I like it. I, I like that nib. It's it's actually got the what they call the flexi nib on here. Uh, it's a medium nib. And uh, I, I like how that writes a lot. So I have that one inked up with me this week as well. And then the last pen here, again, is another Santini. It's another Libra. Uh, this is in what they call the Laurel. And again, uh, the, these Santini pens are actually a really good price. So again, this is a piston filling pen like the Vista Libra here in the Amber. 
Uh, and you can see here uh, on the cat band Santini and it's Italia. And you've got the roller style clip here. And again, you have a number six size uh, Santini nib. And you can see the Evernight feed profile there. It's uh, quite a narrow feed. So again, this is a piston filling pen. So I am uh, really uh, loving writing with that. Uh, this one has a fine nib in, whereas the Amber has a medium nib. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is a Sailor Kinger pen, and this is a Lucky Charm. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you'll see here that this is quite a light ink, but also I find it's quite a dry ink as well. But this is a medium nib. So this is the uh, Sailor. And it's the King of Hen. And it's the Pro Gear. And it's a lucky charm. And it's got a medium 21 carat gold nib. You just about get that in. And then the ink in here today is Diamine Marine. Which I do find is quite a nice pairing for this pen. The next pen is a Sailor Kinger pen, and this is a Stormy Seas. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, I'm finding that this is actually quite a good match in terms of ink color. So again, this is a, a, a medium nib in Asian terms, so it's a Western fine. So this is the Sailor. King of Pen, and it's the Stormy Seas. And again, it's a medium 21 carat gold nib. And then the ink in here is a diamine. And it's aqua blue, which again, I think is a good match for this pen. The next pen is the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I normally put a, an ink in here, which is a Mont Blanc ink, but more lately I've been actually putting in this one. So this is the Classic Pens LM1 in the flame red and honestly I am liking this ink a lot more and I think because it's a flame red I think this red is actually quite bright as well so this uh, has a medium it's an 18 carat gold bock nib and then the ink in here is waterman and it's audacious red which i am absolutely loving in this pen the next pen is the sailor king of pen sakura nagar so we'll do an ink swatch and this is a sailor broad nib so it really writes a lot more like what i would say is a western medium maybe between a medium and a broad so this is the Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar and this is a broad 21 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is a KWZ and it's grapefruit and this is an ink that I inked up initially because I honestly didn't know what color I wanted uh, to put in this pen. And I inked up Sailor KWZ Grapefruit and I fell in love with it. Uh, it writes perfectly in this pen and 
I have uh, had it inked up ever since. The next pen is the Classic Pens LB5 in the KN. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is the red that I used to put in the Classic Pens LM1, but I decided as I was now going to be inking this one up, uh, and probably permanently now, that I'm not going to change to a different ink in this one, that I decided I would use Audacious Red uh, in the LM1. So this is a Classic Pens... And it's the LB5 in the KN or Flame Red. Uh, this has a medium 21 cat gold nib because it's a Sailor King of Pen nib. And then the ink in here is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red, which is a very um, more of a darker red ink, I find. So this is the Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawasaki. Let's do an ink swatch. And again, this is a medium Asian nib, so typically writes more like a Western fine. Um, this also is a dry ink, I find. So this is a uh, classic pens LB5, and this is in the Kawasaki. Uh, it has a medium 21 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is uh, Pilot Oroshizuku. And uh, it is uh, Sukushi or Horse's Tail, as it's also known as. The next pen is the Tatcha Miyabi Winter's Breath. So let's do an ink swatch. Now, this is a broad nib. It's an Asian nib, so again, it writes a little bit more uh, like a Western medium to a Western broad. So this is the uh, Tatcha Miyabi uh, Winter's Breath. And uh, this uh, has a sailor nib on it. So uh, this is a broad nib uh, and uh, it's an 18 cat gold nib because it's made by sailor for Tatcha. And then the Ink in here is uh, Pelican Edelstein Topaz, which is a beautiful uh, blue ink. The next pen is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I have always wanted uh, to have a sort of bluish ink with a more of a like a, a hue of lavender. So uh, I think this uh, works quite well in this pen. So this is the uh, Visconti and it's the uh, Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. Uh, it's a medium nib, although I find it writes more like a Western board. Uh, it's one of the newer 18 cat gold nibs from Visconti. And then uh, the ink in here is uh, Pilot Iroshizuku and it's Aji Sei, which is a beautiful uh, lavender blue ink. The next pen is the Santini Italia Libra in the Ambra. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I do find that these nibs can be quite flexible and 
quite wet writing nibs as well. So you can see that just how wet this nib is. I did just prime the piston as well. So maybe it's a little bit wetter than it should be. So this is a Santini Libra. Uh, and this is in the Ambra. Now this has a medium flexi nib. And uh, it is an 18 cat gold nib. And I think you can probably see this here, but if I do this, you can see how flexy that nib can really go. Uh, and the ink in here uh, is a uh, diamine ochre, which I do find uh, it's quite interesting because I've had friends ask me about diamine ochre being a really good substitute for Ackerman SBRE Brown, and I think it is. But if you put it in a super wet nib or super wet pen, it's going to come out really dark brown and it looks nothing like Ackerman SBRE Brown. But if you put it in a, a little bit more of a, a more controlled writing pen, you will find it, it's an almost identical match. And then the last pen is the Santini Libra in the Laurel. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is uh, a fine nib instead of a medium nib. Uh, this still can write quite wet as well. So it's just that you will find it is a much finer nib. And you can see that here. So this is the Santini Libra in the Laurel. And it is a fine Again, it's a flexi nib, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then I'll show you the difference here. So you can almost get as much flex out of this pen. Uh, to be honest, I, I find it writes a little bit narrower uh, than the medium, but not a huge amount, uh, and a little bit less flex. Uh, so the ink in here today is a uh, diamine meadow which uh, is a, a lovely uh, green ink so i think let's go through these pens uh inked up one more time so we have a sailor king a pen pro gear in the lucky charm in a medium 21 cat gold nib inked up with diamond marine we have a sailor king a pen stormy seas in a medium 21 cat gold nib inked up with diamond aqua blue we have a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Waterman Audacious Red. We have a Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar in a broad 21 cat gold nib inked up with KWZ Grapefruit. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the KN in a medium 21 cat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kauseki in a medium 21 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot of Washizuku Sukushi. We have a Tatcha Miyabi Winter's Breath in a broad 18 cat gold nib inked up with Pelican Edel Sign Topaz. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in a Lapis Lazuli in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot of Washizuku Aji Sei. We have a Santini Libra in the Amber in a medium flexi. 18 cat gold nib uh, and this is inked up with diamine ochre and we have a santini libra in the lowell in a fine flexi 18 cat gold nib inked up with diamine meadow and both of these inks are still wet so there you have it that's my county ink pens for this week Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.